Okay, so welcome to Hands On. We're gonna use models to add mixed numbers. So a mixed number means there's a whole and then there's a part of a whole. That's what a mixed number is. A whole and a part of a whole. <clears throat> so the first number is gonna be yellow. So the first number is two and one third. So I'm gonna color two holes. And then one out of three pieces, right? One third, one out of three. Oh, shish kebabs. I might have wanted to do it the other way. Might be changing the next one. The next number is one and one third. Yeah. I'm going to color in my one hole, and I'm going to color in my one third. I think I want the yellow the second number next time. So what I'm going to do is we're adding them. So I'm going to cross this blue guy off, and I'm going to move him <laughs> over there. I don't have a dark blue. What do you mean you don't have a dark? You just need a blue, dude. I know. I'm going to change it to yellow the next time. So it'll work. Yeah. So now, how many holes have I colored in? Three holes. And how many parts of my hole? One, two out of how many pieces? That's what we're doing. Does that make sense? Two holes plus one hole is three holes. One piece on one, one piece on the other means we have two out of three pieces. Any question? What? It is a mixed number. And why do we say it's a mixed number? Because we have whole pies and parts of pies is a mixed number. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you the math in just a second, too, but I just kind of wanted to show you the coloring. See, there's common denominator, common denominator. Now, if I'm going to do actual adding, let me see, which way do I prefer? I think I prefer to stack it, if I remember right. I guess we'll try stacking, and then we'll change it. So I have two and one-thirds plus one and one third. So the first question you ask yourself when you're doing the math math is do I have a common denominator? Do I? Yes. So I colored it orange. So the orange is going to stay the same. And then I have one and one which is two and then two plus one which is three. Why do you always add the fractions first? Yes. Good question. Why why would you always add the fractions first? There might be a whole number. There, fractions. Exactly. So much like a decimal or much like um, you're always going to start with the smallest and then add them because if necessary, you'll carry going across, right? Good question. All right, so I'm going to turn the page. And I'm going to switch it. I'm going to put the yellow second. So blue first, yellow second. So blue is going to be one and one fifth. So I'm going to color this guy in one hole. Then I need to color in one out of five. One, two, three, four, five. So one out of five. I don't really care where you put the one at. I just want to make sure you color in one of the five. Oh. Okay. You have one piece out of five. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. The next number is two and three fifths. So I'm going to color in two holes. One, two. Now how many pieces in this next one do I have to color in? Three, because it's three fifths. So one, two, three. 
again, what I like to do, I like to cross this guy out, this guy out, and this guy out, and I'm going to move them up to the top. One, two, three, because then it shows me exactly what I've combined. So this guy goes there, this guy goes there, that guy goes there. How many holes do I have? Three holes. How many parts do I have? Four fifths. Four fifths. Because it's Miss Richardson and I like to show you the math, math, we're going to do the math, math on the side. So I have one and one fifth plus two and three fifths. So my first question is, do I have a common denominator? Do I? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to color them in orange. So what do I do with the fists? I just move them straight up down to the bottom. Nothing's going to change. Now I have one and three. One and three are four. four. One and two are three. Three and four fists. Does it match? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? It, it, you're right. It cannot be simplified. It's in simplest form. Because you can't divide a number by, you can't divide the same number into four and five. So if we were doing an improper fraction, yes. If you were doing an improper fraction, it would be 19 fifths. The, the, way, the way to find an improper fraction is... My turn, right? Just, 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 just. So there's two ways to do this. So you would say 5 times 3 plus 4. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4 is 19, so 19 fifths. The other way I want to show you why it works is this. If I split this, if I split this into five pieces, like this one, and I split this one into five pieces, like yeah. that one, and this one into five pieces. Now, I would have five, 10, 15. Look at this, three holes times how many pieces means I have 15 pieces, right? Plus the one, two, three, four means I have 19 fifths. We're not worrying about improper fraction. I'm just popping it up there because one of my friends said the way to do an improper fraction is, and they're not wrong, but we don't need to worry about that today. Let's look at number two. The first color is going to be blue. I traded it because it's easier to move the yellow than it is the blue. So I have two holes and how many? Five, six. Two holes and five, six. We'll see. You know, eventually I do let you try them. Now, the next number is one and one, six. So here's my hole. And here's my one, six. What am I going to do with that one, six? I'm going to move it on up. There's exactly one spot left. Yeah, hold. I'm just going to cross off the one piece because I mainly want to make sure you guys see the fact that I've used it, right? All right, so now, how many holes do I have? One, two, three, and this one is now... A hole. So this is four holes. What? Bring it here. I want to look at it. So then you would have two and five sixth plus one and one sixth. I want you to try to add those on your own. 
I actually put it like right. If you put it here, that's fine. Okay. Because you just needed one out of six pieces. Yeah. And then you moved it up here. That's exactly fine. Okay. Thank you for asking. Stand up when you're done. Yep, stand up when you're done. So what you would have done, go ahead and take a seat. I'm going to run through it really quick. No. Who said no? All right, I'll give you a minute. So one of my friends said, Miss Richardson, this doesn't make sense. So I said, did you use your colors? And they said, nope. Do the colors help? Hopefully. So I first, do I have a common denominator? Yep. Yep. So I'm going to move my common denominator straight down. My common denominator is going to be 6. Then I'm going to add my top. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then I'm going to add 2 plus 1 is 3. Here's the trick. I know 6 over 6 is 1 whole. So I need to say 3 plus my 1 whole means I have 4. Does my 4 match my 4? Yes. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Uh, hands on your head if you got that one 100% right. Fantastic. Let's try number four. So, uh-oh, SketiOs. Uh-oh, SketiOs. So, first you're going to look. Do you have a common... Oh, man. So now I need to figure out how to get my common denominator. Uh -oh. If I look at 3, if I factor tree 3 and 2, 3 is 1 times 3. I would circle my 3. 2 is 1 times 2. I would circle my 2. I would yellow them both. Yeah. Do I have anything in common between the two? No. No. So then I would need to pink it, right? Or read it, but I'm just going to say pink for my purposes. So, two lines, two pinks. So, I would put three in the first line, two in the second line. Three times two is six. So, six is going to be my common denominator. Are either one of those common denominators? No. No. So, I'm going to put six here. Two-thirds has to equal something over six. One half has to equal something over six. Three times what is six? Two times two is two. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must also do to the two times two is four. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Two times what is six? Three. I said two times what is six, not two times six, two times what is six. Three, whatever I do to the bottom, I must also do to the one times three is three. Now, what is my other name for two thirds? Four six. What is my other name for one half? Three six. So now I have, and I'm going to color this blue, otherwise I'm going to lose my number. Two and four six, and one and three six. So I'm going to color in my two and four six. There's my one hole, two holes, and I need how many? Four out of six, three, four out of six. My other one is going to be one hole and three out of six. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Can move this guy here. That's one of my six. And when I move him, I'm going to cross him off. Boop, boop, be doop. I can move him to there. 
When I move him, I'm going to cross him off, right? Do I have another spot to move my last lonely guy? No. No. So can I move my last lonely guy? No, I cannot. So let's count how many holes do I have. I have one, two, three, four holes in how many leftovers? One out of six. Now, I'm going to do the addition on a sticky note because I didn't give, have you guys get paper. You guys can do it on paper later because I am quite frankly out of room on my paper. So I have, and we've already changed my denominators to be common. So I have 2 and 4 sixths plus 1 and 3 sixths. Coloring in my denominator orange because they're, they're what? Common, right? Yeah. Now, I'm adding 4 plus 3 is? 7. 7. 2 plus 1 is? 3. three. So I have 3 and 7, 6. 7, 6 means, uh-oh, I filled it over the top, right? So I have to take a hole away. So I'm going to minus a hole from my fraction, and I'm going to add a hole to my whole number. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, 7 minus 6 is 1, and I'm going to keep my same common denominator. So 4 and 1 sixth. It gets slightly messy, I'm not going to lie. But, do you see them? Does the math make sense? I filled up the whole pie. It's probably people being silly. <coughs> like trying to, have you ever like had pie at Thanksgiving and there's like two pieces of pie in this pie pan and three pieces of pie in that pie pan or something like that? And they decide to move the two pieces of pumpkin and put them next to the apple. Why would they do that? That's my question. Why do they, they decide to do that? I don't know. It's just gross. I'm not going to lie. I have a better way to do a number for you. You should move the, the three from the, the blue to the yellow. Yeah. Or you Well, if I move the blue three to the yellow three, I still have a hole, but I still have an extra. It doesn't really matter which way I, I roll it. I'm still going to have an extra piece of pie. Because one of my pie pans has four in it, and the other pie pan has three in it. Now, I'm always going to show you guys to move it one way because otherwise, if you guys start moving it both ways, you're going to get super confused. But the reality is four blues or three yellows plus three blues is still a whole pie, but I still have an extra. It doesn't matter which way I move it. I'm still going to have an extra piece of pie. Does that make sense? So I'm looking at number five. Number five says, do I have a, do, the first question is, do I have a common denominator? And the answer is no. no. So now I have to factor tree it out. So what factors go into eight? Four and two. I'm going to put two first, then I'm going to put four because two's getting close over there. What factors go into four? Two and two. What factors go into four? Two and two. Two and two. Those are all prime. You're going to have to wait just a minute. So I'm going to color them all yellow. Then I'm going to look to see which ones are the same. Well, I have 
a two under the eight, and I have a two under the four. So that's going to be one spot. Then I have a two under the eight and a two under the four. That's going to be another spot. Uh-oh. Do I have any other twos on both sides? No. No. So I'm going to pink it. So then I have a two times a two times a two, which is... What's two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Do I have a common denominator up here? <coughs> Yes, right there is my common denominator. So now I need to find a new name for one-fourth. One-fourth is going to equal something over eight. Four times what is eight? Four times two. Whatever I do to the bottom, bottom I do to the top. One times two is two. So my new name for one-fourth is two Eight. Do I have a common denominator now? Yes. So now I'm going to color my first one in blue. So I have two holes and I have seven eighths. And the next one I have is one hole and instead of two fourths, it is two eighths. Then I'm going to move one of my pieces up to finish my pie here. So now I have how many holes? One, two, three, four holes and one I'm going to use a sticky note. And I'm going to add it. 2 and 7 eighths plus 1 and 2 eighths. My common denominator is going to be 8. 7 plus 2 is... 9. 2 plus 1 is 3. I'm going to subtract my 8 eighths. When I subtract my 8 eighths, that's one whole pi. I'm going to add one whole to my 3, which gives me four holes. 9 minus 8 is 1 over 8. Any questions for me? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Alright. Alright, so homework's going to be all. One, two, three, four, and five. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.